Before we continue on this episode of The Ultimate Experience, let me first introduce you to today's sponsor. Because Opera GX is back at it again. Opera GX is a special version of the Opera browser built specifically for gamers. Opera GX is even available on mobile and can be connected to the desktop version. With built-in instant access to social media channels like Facebook, Messenger, Discord, Twitch, and Twitter, and having the option to fully customize the web browser to your personal taste, there is no no question, Opera GX is simply the best web browser for gamers. You can also limit your CPU, RAM, and network bandwidth using the built-in GX control. You can download Opera GX on mobile and desktop completely free using the link in the description. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Opera GX, and now, let's hop into the ultimate experience. Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to A Shadow Over Freddy's, the ultimate experience. This is, I believe, the first ever game, a FNAF fan game, from the developer Phil Morg, aka Fiznom, who you may know as the creator of FNAF Plus. I was recently going back through a lot of old FNAF fan games for games to play in the ultimate experience, and I stumbled across this game, Shadow Over Freddy's, which is a game I've heard quite a lot about, especially uh, back when it first released around that time, but it's one that I never played. So much like Pop Goes 2016, I know the basis of this game, I know you're like in the dark, you click, you go through rooms, but I've never played it myself, so that's why I wanted to check it out for this episode of The Ultimate Experience. So without further ado, Let's just hop into A Shadow Over Freddy's. You wake up in a small, dark room, lying down on a cold, checkered floor with your back against a wall, feeling like hell. Your mouth tastes like copper and there's nothing you can hear but the low buzz of a metal fan. Gradually, your eyes begin to open, muscles trembling as they try to stretch and contract. Your memory is foggy and your head throbs, failing to recall any information that might shed light on your current situation. Your body reacts faster than your brain brain, picking itself up off the floor using a desk nearby. You grab a light source and begin to look around and, uh, to regain your bearings. A lifeless husk of a building reveals itself to you through the cone of the flashlight. Dust and cobwebs lining every corner, crumbled up papers, cups, and black stains covering the floor. Drips of water seeping through the rotten wooden ceiling. The layout is familiar to you, but its walls aren't nearly as inviting or friendly. Your chest feels heavy with dread, much like a man to be hung at the gowls. The first coherent thoughts that enter your head uh, urge you to leave as soon as possible. Leave immediately, before the shadows that have devoured this abandoned building come to consume you as well. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. It's great to have you back home. Five nights remaining. Alright, so it does follow the stereotypical five nights. What those will consist of... Only time will tell. Oh, Jesus. This looks awesome. Uh, these instructions will appear every night before going out into the restaurant. Click on them to continue. Okay. Move your cursor to aim the flashlight at areas of interest. Pointing towards a side of the screen will rotate the camera. Uh, left click on an open path to move to adjacent rooms. A hostile presence is watching. Oh, <laughs> How, how relaxing, thank you. Complete your objectives before 6 a.m. or they will be attacked. Or I will be attacked. They will be fine. They will be attacking me. I'm screwed. And that's all the instructions I get. 
Oh my god, look at this place. This is terrifying. <laughs> this is like the perfect FNAF fan game to play in complete darkness. Ooh, night one. Find the exit. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> this is legitimately creepy. Oh my god, a 360 degree view as well. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like this already. <laughs> I regret checking this game out. Oh, here's the dining room. Okay, so I need to find the exit. There is no exit in FNAF 1. I don't like any of these sounds. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, it's an arcade? Okay. Hey! You're just on the arcade cabinets, that's fine. Kitchen? No kitchen. Okay, let's keep going this way. Do I actually have until 6 a.m.? Or is it like, just get out as soon as you can? Because I kind of want to explore, but at the same time, my light is already flickering. So maybe I should hurry up? I have no clue. I don't like any of these sounds! And oh my god, these wires are not safe! Who is running this establishment? More dining rooms. Cool. Just gonna keep heading out this way. Till I hit a wall. This is just a bunch more dining rooms. This is a big dining room. Ah! Woo! Show stage! Pirate's Cove. What the hell is this? Uh, 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 I'm gonna go to Pirate's Cove. Is Foxy there? Wait, this is a bad idea. Wait, hold on. Well, this doesn't look like Pirate's Cove. Ah, this looks like Pirate's Cove. <gasps> okay. Right. There's nothing in there. That's cool. That's cool. All right, let's go to the show stage now. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Backstage break room. Well, let's go in here. Get a lay of the lands. What's in the break room? Uh, crappy table. Some TVs. <laughs> some cleaning supplies. And a place to hang the keys. Alright, cool. What's in the backstage? I can only imagine what's in the backstage. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. You got a cheek a leg. Oh my god, this is so creepy. <laughs> oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Okay. God, why is Phil so good at doing terrifying backstage locations? <laughs> oh, these are the steps to get up there? Okay. Here we go. Woo, loud droning effect. Hey, bud. Hey, can I click? Can I do? Oh. Okay. I picked up the plushie. I have a feeling that's something I'm gonna have to do to get, like, a secret ending, maybe? I know nothing about this game's endings. I don't know if it has multiple endings. Why is my light flickering a bunch? Don't like that. Ah, oh, the bathroom. How, how wonderful. Let me hide in the bathroom. Oh, that's the safe room. Okay. Can I go down here? Nope. All the bathrooms are boarded up for some reason. I'm assuming this place is not, you know, in operation. Because I feel like bathroom is kind of, you know, an important thing. Oh, the exit. Yay? Oh. Oh. Wait, I turned so slow. Go, 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 go. Don't look towards the exit. I'll go back. I'll stay here. It's fine. I can stay here. It's fine. I'll go back with you. It's okay. I didn't want to leave. We can hang out. You wanna play like Scrabble? I'm pulled back to safety. <laughs> I wouldn't say safety. All right, maybe we're gonna go play Scrabble. May hey, maybe it is safe. <laughs> Who am I to judge? By a floating featureless figure standing before you with its eyes locked uh, on your pale face. It looked like it wants to help recover your lost memories. I kinda doubt it. The shadow offers you a story to clear your head. Will you accept? A story? Do I have to read it? I guess, why not? Hey. Don't make me read a bunch of text, please. How about you just tell the story? Okay, there once was a little kid who liked to play with its toy with his toys by his lonesome. Oh. It's like a little animatic. 
I wouldn't say that's a toy, that's a dog. <laughs> he lived with his family on a small, peaceful house outside of town, surrounding by forestry. The house's backyard was his personal stage, where he played with his figurines of various shapes and sizes, making plays which were acted out for his enjoyment alone. Although he was alone, he was content in living out his youth, playing with the plastic friends his parents had gifted him with. There were a small mannequin, a stuffed teddy bear, a porcelain dress-up doll, and a toy robot. Well, I wouldn't say that toy robot's <laughs> having a good time right now. Hey, man. Good story, is that it? Oh, no. But one day, the family's pet dog stole one of the toys during his playtime. Into the woods, he excitedly ran away with the toy robot, prompting the kid to chase after him to reclaim his friend. Annoyed by the dog's playful attitude, the kid caught up. Grabbing the toy from the thief's uh, mouth, he began to pull. Oh, to be young and carefree. A kid and his dog playing tug-of-war in the backyard, uh, their house with no one to interrupt them. Seems like a wonderful memory, doesn't it? The dog, excited to finally receive the attention it craved from the young master of the house, refused to lose this game they found themselves playing. I don't like how he's, like, choking the dog out, basically. Jesus, dude. The toy robot was almost free from the dog's mouth when... Uh-oh. Oh, no. That makes me really sad. Relieved to have gotten his friend back, the kid wiped off the pool of drool off the toy robot with the bottom of his shirt. He walked back home, leaving the animal twitching hell. Dude, fuck this kid! You left the poor dog?! With barely enough room to left in its swollen neck to let out a pitiful dry howl. Kid arriving back uh, from out the trees positioned the toy robot back where it uh, was on his makeshift stage and continued playing. I can't even read at this point. God, that story has me so upset. <laughs> Later that afternoon, the parents found the body of the dog. They buried it where it stood. Jesus, man. Even just reading that story in a goddamn FNAF fan game, that has me so upset and irritated. Oh! So the drawing is now a robot. I don't think it was like that before. And this drawing makes a lot more sense now. Each night, your enemies become more aggressive. Uh, a new presence has appeared in the restaurant. Wonderful. It hides in rooms, waiting for you to pass by. Be careful of where you are going. Hold right click on an open path to listen to sounds coming from adjacent rooms. The more time passes, the better you'll hear. Oh, great. <laughs> I didn't listen. <laughs> Night two, follow the music. Okay. I don't hear any music. I just hear terrifying, loud, drone dot wave <laughs> files playing. Here, let's hold. Let's listen out. I hear the music now. What was I listen listening for? That doesn't sound good. Go back. Oh no, we're fine. Is it in the kitchen? I can't even go that way. Dude, I don't like any of these sound effects. I hear it. Let's go. Maybe it's hiding in the bathrooms. No. Hey, exit. No. Oh. <laughs> Ah, the show stage. My favorite place to go. I hear you. My musically loving friend. Do I still keep listening? I still hear it. I'm gonna die, I know it, because I'm not listening long enough. But honestly, that might be a good thing, so I can reread the instructions. Not out this way. Maybe out this way. Not it that way. God, you just making me go in a giant maze? This way. Wait, that sounded like something. Well, that doesn't sound good. Let's go out this way, instead. <laughs> I'm gonna let you listen to that music, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll find my own music. You can have that one. That sounds like music to me. Music to my ears. Cool. Where is this leading me? It seems like it's going nowhere. That sounds fine. Maybe. Hello? No, not that way. What about this way? Not that way either. Only one way to go! And it sounds fine. Maybe not! It was. 
Oh, I'm so scared, man. <laughs> Legit. Oh, the show stage again. Oh, my favorite place. That sounds fine. I'm so confused. And so terrified. Exit! Yes. Did I do it? Oh, hey! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Is that a no? I didn't do it? Wait, actually? Oh, you're kidding. What else do I have to do? I, I've also not found a Freddy plushie. Which I assume I need to get? Maybe? I don't know. Did that, like, Shadow Freddy dude not mean anything? What about the restrooms? The restrooms? Okay. Is this open? I can't even go in there. Where do I go? I can't go down this way. I can't go in here. Can I not? A absolutely not. This guy's out this way. I'm screwed. They're like, does he go away at some point? <laughs> this is the only way I can go. <laughs> Christ! What the hell? That's not okay. Yeah, I know I had to move around him, but I was lost in the music. <laughs> that sweet jamming music that disappeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> that was awful. I had to go get a package, I come back, I cl insta-click a room, because I'm like, surely it won't let me die this quick. <laughs> that was genuine terror, because I was not ready. Oh! Yay! Yay, got the plushie! So what do these plushies do? Do they give me the stories? If I don't get them, do I not get a story from the puppet? Foxy! Can I listen? Nope. Alright. Uh, this way? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> encountering Bonnie again. There it is. Okay. Okay, so I just gotta follow it until it like glitches out and it's all creepy. In here? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We got it. We got it. Wait, turn around. My Scrabble playing buddy. I want to see you face to face. Come to Papa. Where are you? Uh... I didn't see you, my Scrabble playing buddy. Uh... Yeah, so it's interesting. We saw a Shadow Freddy in the exit. Was that supposed to be there or was that like an Easter egg? You are pulled back again to safety as the sounds of the untuned music box wind down. The Shadow offers another story as a reward for completing your task. Okay, so I don't get the stories for getting the plushies, I guess. I'll accept, why not? Hello? Why is your head tilted slightly? You got a story? The story I tell you uh, is a true story that I pray you never forget. There once was a boy who laid awake at night during a harsh downpour. Beneath the covers of his bed, he closed his eyes and tried to ignore the storm just outside his room. Enveloped in darkness, a sensation of creeping discomfort kept him uh, from falling asleep. The roars of the storm were nothing compared to the restlessness that the shadows cast from the window gave him. He felt eyes watching him from afar. The boy opened his eyes and looked toward the window, but nothing was there. He tried to go back to sleep. Okay, that actually did kind of get me. Oh, what kind of room you got here? Hey, nice desk, good bed. Nice calendar too, some books. He opened his eyes again and out of the corner of his eye, he spotted it. The hollow white eyes of a living shadow. It appeared just as quickly as it went away. I don't see anything, you're tripping. <laughs> his uneasiness pushed to the side by growing curiosity, the boy got up, you are so stupid. Got up from his bed and approached the window. From out of the glass, he could see it, the silhouette of an animal. Darker, oh no, it's the 
dog! Actually, you know what? Yeah, screw you, boy. Screw you, you deserve to be haunted by this dog. Darker than the night around it, the void of color even when light struck its frame, running off into the trees with a familiar object stuck in its mouth. His favorite toy, stolen again, being carried towards the forest. The boy couldn't help but follow along the shadow's path. I hope you get a toy stuck in your mouth and... <laughs> someone yanks it and your jaw falls off. The night air was freezing, uh, brazen winds carrying countless droplets that hit the skin like marbles, their impact deafening any other sound other than the imposing thunder. Call it premonition, uh, but he knew where the shadow had gone to, that place at the edge of the forest where he had last left the family dog, who was sure he would find it. Standing in front of the grave once more, the eyes from the shadow had gone away. And its steed, instead, I don't know, the toy stolen toy robot now lay on the top of the muddy mound. But this time, it was moving, its tiny plastic arms flailing violently from side to side, its head rotating in place. The movements were sudden, but clear, unprompted by any outside influence. A spark of life was trapped inside this tiny vessel. The dog, man. Your dog possessed your toy. Fascinated by such discovery, he picked up the toy from the ground and held it tightly with both of his hands to pre prevent it from escaping his grasp. Smiling from ear to ear, the boy headed back home. Why would you be smiling? Why would- why- <laughs> Who picks up a, a haunted toy and is like, Hell yeah, bro! This thing's lit! And not, Jesus Christ, my dead dog is in this robot! Anyways, we're back at Freddy's. Posters haven't changed, I don't think. Don't stand still. Enemies will move into your room if you take too long. Hiding next to you. What? If a shadow is in the same room as you, it'll wait for you to move before attacking. Find it and scare it away before you proceed. What? A new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It moves slower but is, hard, is harder to detect. What? Be patient while leading over into other rooms. Wait, how do I scare the dude that's gonna be in my room with me? That's... A mechanic you- Ooh, enter the kitchen. That shouldn't be that bad. I know where the kitchen is. Oh, chicka plush! Oh, I don't trust anything. I- d I'm terrified of this godforsaken game. The kitchen's out this way. Let's listen. It sounds peaceful. Let's keep going. Uh, kitchen. The uh, kitchen. I have a key. Can I use the key? Enter the kitchen. Open sesame the kitchen. Alright, <laughs> maybe there's a kitchen key in the break room. My five had ideas. I do wonder what it means by staying in the same place for too long. I feel like I go pretty quick, but also, I want to take my time because I'm scared of these goddamn jump scares. This is the only FNAF game that I am petrified to get a jump to get jump scared by. I do not like them in the slightest. <laughs> Anything on the main stage while I'm here? Uh, no. Almost at the break room. I don't hear any scaries. <laughs> um, I have no reason to believe a key is going to be in here. It's just my idea <laughs> that I hope a key is in here. Aha! I am so smart! <laughs> I think I'm fine. <laughs> I'm not I'm laughing nervously because I really freaking don't want to get jump scared, man. Okay, I think we're fine. The kitchen! Did I have to listen out for anything? Oh, wait. Oh no, we're good. Where's my Scrabble friend at? Who's gonna play some Scrabble with me? Hey, my Scrabble friend! Okay! Weird kitchen you got here. Kinda just looked like a bunch of wires. I didn't see any kitchen <laughs> appliances at all, so... I don't know how you're making pizzas or any food. Just looked like a bunch of random wires, but okay. You are pulled back to safety as the room fades away around you. The shadow offers yet another story from... Oh, from my past! Oh, it's- oh, it's my past! Oh, yeah, hell yeah. You're awfully close. I don't like this. What story you got, friend? This is a true story that I tell to you. I hope you're taking notes for the quick. Oh. 
It's good. I'm recording it. I'll go back. It's like an open note type thing, you know? Uh, there once was a young man who had grown hungry for knowledge. Growing into adolescence, he had isolated himself from his family, focusing instead on his passion for the unknown, the spiritual, the place of mystery that he had come to know years ago. In a box under his bed, he hid his secret uh, away from all others, his living plastic friend. Still thrashing and uh, writhing inside, every night he observed his movements intently. The young man spent entire days away from home, reading and studying about spirits and vessels. His interest turned into obsession, and his need to understand grew. Alas, it was all for naught, as no book had the key to answers uh, to the answers he'd been seeking. All he found were vague rumors and legends with no instructions or explanations. To continue down the rabbit hole, he knew what had to be done. Oh, crikey. Who's this? I see you got something there. Since he was a kid, the young man never saw his dad as anything more than an <laughs> obstacle. Well, I don't like where this is going already. He was a moody, aggressive, old alcoholic who only talked to his son when he needed something to shout at. Okay, maybe... <laughs> maybe he does deserve what's coming to him then. Having driven everyone that loved him away, the drunkard was worth less than nothing in the eyes of the boy. Thus, he was the perfect candidate. One day, when coming home, seeing the old man sprawled out onto the kitchen table with a bottle on hand, he decided to show dear old daddy a new way of life. Uh, holding a small, felt doll in his right hand, the teen made his way to the house's garage. After a few hours, the deed was done and the plan in action. The plan in action. The boy watched his oblivious father drive away in his car, unaware of the tampering that had been done to the vehicle. Okay, well, <laughs> sitting on his bed, the young man took his dear pet out of the box and began to press harshly on its square plastic head. As it trembled in pain, he waited on the outcome of his small experiment. Oh. Don't like this. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's what you get for being a <laughs> alcoholic bastard, but <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Not a big fan of this kid just killing everything. Maybe? I'll, I'm just in the void right now. Oh, hey! Hey, what's up? Got more stories? Oh, the humanity. After the car accident, he recovered the doll uh, that he had planted below the seat and returned to his home. Placing it on his desk, he watched it closely for that same spark that remained inside his robotic friend. But much to his frustration, oh my god, he killed his dad for no reason. No movement came from the doll. Nothing. The vessel he had prepared for his father was empty, devoid of even a single remnant of life. Furious by his failure, he ripped the felt doll apart and threw it aside. What a waste. From then on, he was free of the shackles of his drunken caretaker, but without the trophy he had planned to take from his monstrous act of sabotage. Unflinching uh, in his resolve and with no guilt in his empty heart, he contemplated what to do next. This story is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be going into this game. I was kidding when I said there would be a quiz. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Not that it matters. It mattered to me, I'll tell you that. Or that you deserve it. What? Okay, well, you don't need to be mean. You could be the only good character in this game. Two nights remaining. Cool. <laughs> yeah, man, these stories are... <laughs> these stories are crazy. I was not expecting this. Oh, wow, look at this. So you got the dog with the toy. You got the robot in night two. The car crash in night three. And this is probably night four then tonight. A uh, new presence has appeared in the restaurant. It sleeps inside Pirate's Cove on the southwest corner of the building. Check behind its curtains frequently, or it will escape and chase you relentlessly. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. That sounds terrifying as hell. Night four, collect the pieces. Dude, <laughs> what is this, Popko's Arcade? Secret ending? What the hell am I collecting? Easter eggs? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay, anything back here? No sorry, dog. What's in this place? Absolutely nothing. I should go to Pirate's Cove immediately, though. Because being chased by Foxy... I don't want that. Do I need, like, a heads up before I check, or just, like... Okay. Well, I guess that'll do it, then. Ooh, okay. Ooh, what's this? Aha! I picked up... I didn't check this way. Okay, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. Shoot, are they gonna be on the tables then? 
I guess I should be looking at the tables, huh? Whoa, what the hell is this place? Wait, where am I? I don't recognize my location. Where did I go? What? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I actually can't play this game. I can't play this game. I cannot play this game. I cannot play this game. <laughs> you know, I had a thought. <laughs> When I, when I said this game would be terrifying in the dark, I had a thought for a moment, like, maybe I should actually, you know, like, close my curtains and turn off the lights. I'm so glad I did that, because I cannot even do this with the lights on. Oh, I didn't know I could actually go in here. I wish I listened for sounds. I guess we're fine. Uh, ooh. How often do I need to check Pirate's Cove? <laughs> uh, ooh. Well... Okay, that happened. <laughs> How often do I need to check it? Hey! Ah! Ah! What, dude? Why? 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 What even happened? Bonnie moves around the perimeter of the main restaurant room. <laughs> what? Wait, since when? Has he always? <laughs> has he always done that? I feel like I've- I've always been on the perimeter, though. Maybe that's why he gets me so much. But also, at the same time, like, I didn't hear- was that laugh him? Because other than that laugh, I didn't hear anything to signify that he was there. Hey! Foxy plushie. <laughs> and I'm screwed, because I can't- I can't leave. What do I do in this case? Like, <laughs> what, genuinely, what do I do? Does he leave at a certain point? Because it sure as hell doesn't seem like it. Maybe if I just go quick. And I just click. And I, and I go to the next location. Nope. Ah! Damn it. Uh. Ah! Ooh, Chica. Okay. That's cool. Uh, I might look up a walkthrough. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little confused about their patterns, and I'd rather not just, uh, waste my time walking around aimlessly. Uh, Chica can appear in your room if she gets impatient of waiting around. What does that mean? <laughs> look around and find her before trying to move. What does that mean? <laughs> oh yeah, she'll just get, like, a little impatient. You just gotta look at her. Hey. Do I do something with you? Or are you just, like, existing? <laughs> What's your deal, man? Whoa, I heard that last second! I'm going this way. I do know that there's a fruity head. Okay. <laughs> In... The exit. And I don't know if the game... The night just ends when I get the last piece, so I'm gonna get that first. I do hope the, uh... <laughs> Check on Foxy often. Feature takes into account just how long it takes to go from a room to a room. Also, does he, like, show up in the curtain at all? Maybe? Yes? No? No sound effects. Cool, cool. Final one. <laughs> Let's hope we're not dead. <laughs> how do you get out of that scenario? Are you just screwed? It seems like you're screwed. I don't think they go away. Hey. <sighs> Just don't be up on the stage, man. Okay? Hold up! Did I finally do it? Where, 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 where? Hey! I got your eggs! <laughs> Sounds a bit weird. But when are we playing Scrabble tonight? That's my question. What story do you have for me tonight, my dear friend Scrabble plane buddy? You are pulled back to safety away from the monsters lurking in the abandoned restaurant. The shadow offers one more story to clear away the fog inside your mind. Will you accept? Absolutely. I bet there's something for saying no, but I also bet there's something for saying yes. And I bet there's something for getting all the plushies. Which, so far, I think we've gotten all of them. Oh, so you're really close. Uh, there was once a sick, twisted monster who stalked its victims from the shadows. Gee, I wonder who <laughs> does something like that. Uh, its heart far gone from its body. This putrid, uh, parasitic individual lived for the hunt to capture and corrupt the weak. All for the sake of satisfying its disgusting pleasures. Tonight was no different. 
Oh, here we go. Uh, is this a uh, Freddy's location? Looks like it. Amidst the rain, this vile vampire of society spotted a young girl uh, left outside the entrance to a family restaurant. Charlie, I'm assuming. Or at least this game's version of Charlie. She looked in from a, a window as other kids inside had fun and celebrated without her. The monster approached the girl from behind, its body trembling in anticipation to savor the perfect opportunity that had been laid out in front of it. Maybe, if some humanity was still lingering inside, if some shred of dignity had remained in its hollow heart, it would have uh, felt pity for her. Uh, maybe it could have sympathized with her situation. It stood still, inches away from her, its hands reaching out for her back, the sounds of its breathing masked by the downpour surrounding them. The child felt a chill run down her spine. She saw its eyes looking at her in the reflection of the glass. She slowly turned around to face the figure towering over her. That sounded more like a gunshot than like a stab. Ah! Why is it still going? What the hell are you doing? Okay, to be fair, the people inside the building, I don't care what noises are happening in that building, you know, like singing, animatronics, you know, like cheering, like, ah, whoa, happy birthday, man. You can definitely hear someone right outside that window screaming. You. Me. Me. You rotten, ignorant, heartless creature. You left that innocent little girl in that alley to die a cold, lonesome death. Your hands were tinted red with her blood, colorless in your empty eyes, and you felt nothing but satisfaction from taking her life. And for what? You don't remember? We all know that's not true. These meetings have been merely a formality. If it were up to me, I would have left you alone to be torn apart by your captors, limb by limb. Just like you tore that life away from her that night, tossing her into the trash after capturing the fragments of her essence. Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. But now it's time for you to feel her pain. To feel the pain that all your victims suffered. Rot in hell, Willie Mafton, alongside the shadows of your past. Alongside the shadows. Over Freddy's. One night remaining. Uh, whose else plushies do we get to get? Golden Freddy, I'd assume. Oh! <laughs> ah, tinted red, just like my hands and my colorless eyes. Uh, no instruction cards. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, god damn, okay. Night five. <laughs> Run. Uh, oh, this is definitely not the hallway I was expecting to be in. Do I still need to listen out or just run? I'm assuming I can just leg it. Because that is what the instruction said to do. <laughs> oh! Okay, so you can't just leg it, which is kind of dumb. Because when I'm told to run, I run. I'm not like, well, hold on, let me wait for the, you know, let me wait for the spear, the whispers of the spirits to guide me. So, <laughs> what is my actual objective here? Do I go to the exit? I'm assuming? I don't know. It also dropped me off, like, right in the dining room. Which is weird, because then I don't have my surroundings. Oh, wait, I was in the kitchen. That's weird. Why, w why did it start me here? I'm just gonna go to the... The exit. I'll listen out, because... <laughs> apparently I do have to keep doing that. Okay. <laughs> Into the center of the dining room we go. <laughs> or not! Or not! You know what? Or not. That's fine, too. Bonnie hides in the room waiting for you to enter. <laughs> yeah, he was at the one I wanted to go to, so I went off to the left and... Ooh, surprise, surprise! He was also there! Unless Chica is the same mechanic, but I thought she appeared in my room. I'm so... I'll be honest, man. These mechanics are really confusing. This game is terrifying. It has a great aesthetic to it. But the mechanics make no goddamn sense. And maybe that's my dumb brain. Who can't <laughs> memorize more than two mechanics. But I don't know, man. Wait, no, it started me in a different place, though. I'm so lost. <laughs> Does it start you in a new place every time? No Foxy. Okay. Oh, did I hear something at the end? Shoot. 
Damn it! Oh, I think this is just a big RNG thing. Where you just gotta keep going until you end up in a certain room. Which I'm not a big fan of, because it's just... RNG. Also, wait, you gotta get so lucky with Foxy! Because if it sends you to a random room each time you go into a room... Like, you can't... <laughs> what? This is gonna be tough. This is... <laughs> this is wacky, man. I like the concept. Um... It's just, it's tough. And I'm not a big fan of RNG type stuff, so... I don't know, it might take a little bit. Oh, hey, hey, big man! Adios! Hmm, hello? Who's giggling? I don't know who's giggling. <laughs> I'm quite literally so lost. I can't hear over the goddamn music. I... <laughs> I think this way's safe. It's so difficult to hear, man. Hey. Uh. <gasps> you despawned! Oh my god! Thank Christ! <laughs> Do I win at six? Is that my obje objective? God damn, I can't hear anything. I'm just gonna go for it, I guess. I uh, like... Uh... Bathrooms... Oh, 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 I should've listened. Wait, oh, please don't kill me. <gasps> ah, there was only one way out of the bathrooms, the escape room. The escape room? The safe room! Was I supposed to do that? Oh, I got the little cute. Oh, I can't turn. I can't move. I'm stuck looking at this table. It's a good-looking table, though. I'm not complaining. Uh, oh! Okay! I have made a grave error. Scrabble. Remember all the Scrabble games we had? Hey! Wait. All the times we played Scrabble, though. Don't you remember? Did that mean nothing to you? I guess it meant nothing to them. <laughs> Good ending, though. Good ending. So I bet I, um, I needed all the plushies to get that last one, I'm assuming. Is there anything for not getting the plushies? Oh, hey. Oh. <laughs> Come back to give me a speech. One final time. You were once a man called William Afton. In life, you chose to waste time chasing shadows, turning a blind eye at the suffering of others. Oh boy, what's going on now? Spring trap? Leeching off the remnant of life that was robbed from your victims. You forgot your uh, fated death until your last rotting breath. But after decades of running from retribution, you perished. Trapped in your own mach uh, mach machinations. Sure. Your body turned into ash crushed inside a large metallic coffin. Your soul, now naked and vulnerable, was dragged down into the darkest depths of the earth and taken by the forces that would uh, decide your fate. And their judgment was clear. Yeah? What was it? This place was born out of their judgment. This colorless replica, a reflection of where your life should have first ended, populated by the shadows of your past. This is your punishment. An endless night, trapped within the abandoned confines of the dream you turned into a nightmare, inside the place of joy you poisoned with your selfish desires. Congratulations, it's your own personal hell. You truly deserve it. My job here is finished. I'm through uh, trying to find humanity in you. Your chances of redemption are long gone and you have no one to blame but yourself. Over the course of these five nights, you have failed to show regret for your actions, nor care about anything other than your escape from this prison. Oh, what a good, good twist, actually. You did this to yourself, and as such, I leave you to your fate. This is the end, William. Good riddance.
So yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. So, um, ooh, the end. Custom Knight has been unlocked. Yeah, we got all the plushies I collected. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, so all the knights were just me and my personal hell. I like that. That's good. Hey, a shadow over Freddy's made by Phil Fizna Morg. Very nice. Here, I'll speed it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, that was pleasant. I really, really enjoyed that. Hey, Nixon, I recognize you, buddy. Yeah, that was that was awesome. I like the uh, the twist at the end of it being trapped inside the hill. That's awesome. There's Scotty boy creating FNAF. <laughs> also, the the mini game uh, stories in between the nights, those are so sad. Oh my god, the dog one. I'll never recover from that. So what is Custom Night? Do we get anything from it? All right, so just as a bit of a heads up, I, I'm looking at all the different endings for the game. You do get something for beating Custom Night 420 mode, so we will be doing that. But I want to talk about the bad ending, which we got the good ending, which is good, obviously. The bad ending, I'm pretty sure, I'm looking at it right now, it looks like it's the same exact thing. I'm looking at it, it's the same speech from the puppet and of course you get it by not collecting collecting the plushies or not listening to the stories but <laughs> if it's the same speech it's just a different uh ending screen where it's like hey you haven't collected all the plushies i am not so tempted to go back and get it because the the monologue from the puppet is the exact same thing it's just kind of it's literally just the end screen that's different so yeah let's be let's be custom night uh, apparently we have to find all five of these plushies in any room in the pizzeria to win. Uh, oh! Oh, a little candy easter egg! Oh, nice! That's awesome! I don't know if you get that after beating, the, like, the main game or anything, but that's awesome! Hey, a little candy easter egg. Night six, collect the plushies. So yeah, they can appear in any room, I think, <laughs> which is awful. Oh, here we go. They could even be behind me, but they're not. In the window, but they're not. Let's listen out. Okay. Luckily, I am back in the normal layout of the, uh, of the pizzeria. That's good. And I also know that I can now get rid of someone that's actually in my camera. My camera? My view? That's good. Can they appear, like, on the tables? <laughs> I sure as hell hope not. Aha! Hello, Bonnie. Got you, my friend. I'm kind of hoping it's just, like... The break room. Parts and service, or the backstage, whatever it's called. The kitchen. Bathrooms, you know, places like that that they can appear in. And not <laughs> in the dining room. Because that's going to suck to go through. Hello? I guess it maybe is just these rooms. Let's listen out. Okay. I do got to be careful because I know Bonnie goes around the perimeter. And I think, does he insta jump scare me? Or can I, am I able to get rid of him? Also, I'm sorry, I turned off the ambiance. I'm just now noticing. <laughs> I apologize dearly. All right, cool. It's already 2 a.m. I'm going to go get Foxy, though. What does that mean? Is that someone in my cam? I keep saying cam, but you know what I mean. Yes, yes, yes. And that's you gone. Awesome. Let's go to Foxy. I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know what's up with Freddy. I don't think I know his mechanic just yet. Having the ambiance off just helps me listen out for the noises. Oh my god, wait, time's going pretty quick. Three? Cool. I'm hoping it's just, like I said, kitchen, bathrooms, or exit. It better just be like those places. Why is my light flickering? Was there someone in my cam? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Anything? It's gonna be up top, I think. I'm uh, not seeing anything. Ooh, haha, -ha, I gotcha, Foxy. Listen. Okay. And I think... <laughs> I should have time to find Chica before... Foxy goes out of his cam. Not seeing anything. It's not in here. Okay. I don't imagine it's in the bathroom either. That would seem a bit strange. Hello? 
Freddy Fazbear. I'm just kind of waiting for someone to get in my room so I can make them despawn. Hello. Cool. I should be fine, right? Going in here? <laughs> Hopefully. Pray. <laughs> ah, of course. It was too good of a first run. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay, then. You do you, Foxy. You disdain that curtain. It's all gonna be good. You know, I'm down to just... Wait, he might be in here. I was gonna say, he might be in the supply closet in the hallway. <laughs> and you know what? That's totally it, isn't it? Yep. I definitely don't have time to get to there. Damn it. Okay. Well, we might see what happens when I reach 6 a.m. Because I don't think I can get there in time. Yep, there it is. Ooh. That was a good jump scare, though. I like that. That was cool. Pretty, please be in the backstage. I would love you. Freddy. Do me a fl do me a flavor. Yeah, baby. Eat crap. I'm the best at Scrabble. That was really not that bad. <laughs> that was really not that bad. Um. Cool. We did it. Nice. Yay. So we got a star. Clicking on that does nothing. We got a little. <laughs> Wait, how do I do? Whoa! Hey, friend. And we got a little friend down here. And so that wraps it up for a shadow over Freddy's. I'm super glad I checked this game out. Um, still a little confused on the mechanics, but I think I did end up getting the hang of them at the end, uh, especially in the later custom nights. It's short, it's simple, uh, it's got a very unique gameplay element that I freaking love. I, I love point and click, exploring around places. And this, you know, applying it to a terrifying FNAF establishment that's all run down and, and it looks awful is amazing. The jump scares, <laughs> I'll be honest, were probably, I mean, definitely the scariest jump scares I've ever seen in a FNAF fan game. I have been with FNAF day one, home dog. <laughs> all right? Since 2014, brother. I have never been this scared by a game, <laughs> by a FNAF fan game. It is absolutely insane. Of course, it stopped getting a bit scary as it kept going on, but that same thing happened with FNAF. But when you don't expect it, those things can jump right out at you, and it is goddamn terrifying. Speaking of this little fella, uh, Pork Chops Horror Show, or Pork Chops Adventure, whichever one is out right now, because I know one of them is, is on hold, might check out for a future uh, Ultimate Experience video. I think that'd be cool, because I did do a video on it when it came out, and then I never played it again, so I'd love to go back to that game. Uh, I've heard a lot of great things about it. Yeah, this was a fantastic experience. Uh, I'm so glad I finally checked out A Shadow Over Freddy's. Uh, and it does really get me hyped for FNAF Plus. Because I can see the terrifying elements that Phil's capable of even in 2018. And eventually when we do check out the Pork Chop game, <laughs> I've heard that one is just as terrifying. So clearly, Phil is a master at at suspense and, and scaring the player. So that's got me super excited for Plus. And overall, this was just, again, a fantastic experience. So that's going to do it for the ultimate experience of A Shadow Over Freddy's. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me what game do you want to see get a ultimate experience uh, next. <laughs> and, uh, and that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.